How can we as nurses say no and set better boundaries? That's what this video is all about. But first of all, if you're new here, I'm Dr. Lisa Chapel. I'm a doctor of nursing practice, an associate professor, and studying to have my board certification as a health and wellness nurse coach. I make videos for nurses, students, and caregivers on accessing your inner resources to become more empowered and resilient. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please click that subscribe button below. Like this video if it's helpful to you and do click that bell for notifications as I do release new videos every week. Okay, so how do you say no? No. Let me think about that. No. Um, no. That's definitely going to be a no. Thank you so much for thinking of me, but no. All right. <laughs> it sounds so easy, but why is it so difficult in our profession to say no? I am a professor of nursing and I can tell you right now that the students that we see in nursing school are the most amazing, sweet, kind, caring, compassionate, motivated people on the planet. They are so great and I know in our divisive society that we are concerned, a little bit worried about the younger generation, but I can tell you safely that those that are coming into nursing are the best people. But we're not setting them up for success and setting boundaries in their life, I think, from early on. And first of all, how can we be better role models? I feel like nurses, quite frankly, suck at setting boundaries. And I've seen it throughout my entire career for 18 years. And there is sort of this underlying assumption that because you're serving others, that that means that you have to do so without boundaries and with this fluidity that you are at people's beck and call and that you can, that you have to, or you somehow have an obligation to sacrifice yourself for the good of others. But, we are doing no favors to patients, to our coworkers, to anyone that we're serving, to other nurses, if you're in leadership, to students, if you're faculty, by having poor boundaries and by not saying no unless it resonates. And so let me be specific. What do I mean by boundaries? Well, I mean boundaries over your schedule and your time. So from the time that you wake up in the morning till you go to bed at night, what kinds of decisions are you making and who's in control of that schedule? Is it you or is it other people that are asking you to do things? And do you adequately set boundaries around your day to have balance? So ideally, every day, you should have time committed for self-care, time committed to your home, your environment, making it neat and nice, tidying up, getting things done, maintaining your house or your home or helping out the people who live at home, and then also time for your profession, as well as not just going to work, but time to actually grow yourself professionally, and then time for your hobbies and some fun things on the side. If, if your days don't look like that and they don't have room for each of those things, there's something that's going wrong and you need to say no more. So how can you say no? Well, I want you to get in the habit to observe anytime there's a request that comes your way. For example, can you pick up a shift? Can you stay over time? Can you chair this committee? Can you come to this meeting? We, we really need you. Do you just find yourself automatically saying yes? And do you do it with a feeling of dread in your stomach where you're just like, I really don't want to do that, but I feel like I'm going to ruffle some feathers or I'm not going to make people happy unless I say yes. What I want you to do is take a step back and I want you to wait at least 10 minutes and ideally 24 hours and even better if you have the time to wait 48 hours before answering, then take it. But what I want you to do is to triage that question. And before you even get to that point where someone's asking you for something and you're 
have the yes on the tip of your tongue and then you need to take a step back and evaluate, do I really need to say yes to this? Well, first of all, you probably need to ask some other people in your life and before you say yes. And so anytime you're being asked something, it's okay to be like, let me get back to you with an answer about that. Then you're gonna have some time where you're not pressured right in front of them to make a decision and to answer a yes or no. So take that time and really evaluate. The second thing I want you to do, and before you even get to that point, is to evaluate and ask yourself a question, and I want you to write it down. So the question I want you to answer is, what are your top three priorities in your life? When I ask myself this question, I think my top three priorities are first the people in my life, the most important people who, who I love and care about and care about me. I first and foremost want to have positive relationships with them. Second of all, my second priority is to create a life of fun, creativity, and happiness. My third priority is to have an abundant life. And so I'm gonna ask myself some questions surrounding these top three priorities. Does saying yes to this help me to achieve any of those top three priorities? Does it help me foster fantastic relationships? Does it help me with the people that I love and care about? Is saying yes going to help me have fun and be creative and work towards some goals I have in my life? And is it gonna help me make some really good money to support myself and my family? And if the answer is no to all three of those questions and you're already meeting your obligations, so this isn't about saying no to things that you have to do anyway. So you have to go to work, you have to show up, for your scheduled time for work. But if this is above and beyond, is it going to help you with these things? Because I guarantee you, if you say yes to something that doesn't fulfill your priorities, you are going to be saying no to something that does. And vice versa, when you say no to those requests, you're saying yes to yourself and to something that will help you meet your top three priorities. So triage the requests as they come in. Ask yourself these questions and does it help you meet your top three priorities? In order to do that, you really have to identify what are your top three priorities and ask yourself some questions and then give yourself that buffer time before you go and say yes. Sometimes maybe you will come back with a negotiation. Let's say you're being asked to pick up an extra shift. Then maybe in order to help you meet a goal of meeting an abundant life that you, it needs to be worth it to you. It needs to be of value. And so are they paying time and a half? Are they paying for you to make this worth your time? Is there a bonus? So then you can come back and negotiate that. Otherwise say, then the answer is no. The third thing I want you to do is to sit with the no. And so how does it feel to say no? Are you having guilt that's washing over you? If you are, that is usually because of some false belief. It's some belief that you have that is not true. That's usually where that guilt stems from. What is underneath that? Ask some questions about it and get to the bottom of it. Is it because you believe that you are letting others down if you say no or that you owe them, that you have some sort of obligation to them? And I can tell you if you're showing up for what you did say yes to and that it's being asked of you to go above and beyond, then you don't owe anyone anything. And so I give you permission to say no more often and also to realize that by saying no, you're saying yes to other priorities and you're actually helping people by being honest with yourself and being honest with other people about what you can and cannot commit to. And it is perfectly okay to say no to back away, to back down. And if more nurses did that, it will help to set the profession up for more success and be able to advocate for what is needed. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please give it a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell for notifications as I do release new videos 
every Wednesday. Take care, have an amazing day, week, month, and year, and I will see you in the next video.